Resident, occupant, mm, free sample of lemon time. Ooh, give it here. Homer, that's dishwashing liquid. Yeah, but what are you going to do? Ooh, they're having a retirement party for someone at the plant. I wish I could retire. Boy, that'd be sweet. Howdy do, neighbor. <laughs> Good pipe weather. Thought I'd fire up the briar. Can't talk. Busy. Oakley doakley do. Did you notice how slanted he looked? All part of God's great plan. I think one side of our house is sinking. The half-assed approach to foundation repair. Hello, I'm Troy McClure. You might remember me from such instructional videos as mothballing your battleship and dig your own grave and save. Now, over the next six hours, I'll be taking you through the do's and do not do's of foundation repair. Ready? Ready. First, patch the cracks in the slab using a latex patching compound in a patching trowel. Hand me my patching trowel, boy. Hmm. Now, do you have extruded polyvinyl foam insulation? No. Good. Assemble the aluminum J channel using self furring screws. Install. What do I do After in case... After applying brushable coating to the panels... Wait a minute. You'll need some corrosion-resistant metal stucco lath. Wait a minute. If you can't find metal stucco lath... Uh-huh. Use carbon fiber stucco lath. Oh! Now barge the lath. Did you see the bubble? Uh, I'm afraid the whole west side of your house is sinking. Uh, I figure it's going to cost you... Ooh, 8500 Forget it! You're not the only foundation guy in town. Let's see. Foundation repair. Ah, uh, here we are. Oh! Leaving the vice president in charge. And now... Leaning Tower of Pisa, eat your heart out and move over. This is one story that's not on the level. <laughs> Behold the horrors of the slanty shanty. See the twisted creatures that dwell within. Meet Cuball, the man with no hair. Huh? Ah! <gasps> He's hideous! We have to do something. Marge, it'll cost $8,500. We only have 500 in the bank, and that leaves 800 we need. What? Forget it, Marge. We already live together. We shouldn't work together. As the Bible says, thou shalt not horn in on thy husband's racket. Where does the Bible say racket? It's in there. Look, Marge, we just don't need the money that bad. Here's your money. Now, you know, the problem here was water leakage. If you just buy a 50-cent washer... I've got a better idea. Get the hell out! <laughs> Look, I got some washers in my truck. I'll give you one. Marge, get my gun. <laughs> 